What's your shirt promoting? I uh, ignite. That's a Christian thing. You're off the podcast. Hello, and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, we are joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face. Howdy. Ben from Nolan TCG. I was supposed to be introduced last. You, were, yeah, you had one job. <laughs> and Logan do we, do we re- Random Logan. Snake route on Twitch. Do we need to restart this? Yeah. Is no, no, this is just what happens when you want to be four people on a podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sake. Four is too many. <laughs> Why How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Logan. Yeah, it was good. We uh, played at a new locals for the first time today, which was great. Yeah. Um, that was really good. Oh, gang signs. What did you thought the store, yeah, store was great. I thought the event went smoothly. Jiu-jitsu. It was quick. <laughs> good. Cool. Um, and yeah, I played Tier Element. It was great. I've uh, been testing with... You and every other fucking vanilla dick. Oh, I played mill decks before. It was cool and relevant. Um, also, shove your barrier statue up your ass, you unoriginal fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is, right, me and, me and Andy and Ben, we were like, did our thing. We were like, alright, that was fun. And now every cunt is like, tier elements. I will say, for the record, before you get up me, the first time I heard about the fucking deck was when you were like, oh, fuck Sprite, I'm playing tier elements. So, fair cop. But, remember when this was the question was, how is my week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, welcome, welcome, to, welcome to the podcast where <laughs> yeah. every question yeah. circles back to someone else. Um, yeah, no, I've been playing Tier Element, which is good. It's a really good throwback to like how I was playing Light School and Grass, and that's every deck I've loved since I was a kid. Grass. Imagine. Um, but yeah, went until the finals and lost to Flunderies, so third ah! corner, alive and well, and I flip and hate it. Good. Blake, how was your week? Well, uh, I logged into Masterful and discovered there was a ban list. <laughs> Yes, which I, we will discuss we will get in a on to, We will get on to. I didn't see the post. I just, for some reason, wasn't aware of Facebook for like half a day and then logged on and then I was like, where did my cards go? So, yeah, I dealt with that. Well, um, they haven't been banned yet. It comes into effect. End of yeah, post. but I got like the notification and stuff and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, all right. Um, but So that was interesting. Yeah. Rebuilt around that, just seeing what we're going to do. Did some duelist copy. Yes, um, I, I also did some. Are we going to talk about that during this podcast? No. We'll talk about it briefly, yeah, in a moment. Cool. Okay, well, yeah, just, we'll check. Um, but yeah, and then helped run the thing, because Yu-Gi-Oh's software is not actually awful. In, in experiencing other games' software, credit where it's due, <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. I'll be real. I when, think in a world happen. where yeah. Bandai Plus exists. Ba- it TCG is Plus exists. <laughs> Wizards is really good until <laughs> there's any possible connection problem and then it says well we're going down for the next day and a half have fun yeah. <laughs> and just pieces out um pokemon has by far the worst software well you know what's interesting about that is uh they won't give it to anybody so we don't know <laughs> back in the day <laughs> so, so, there you go when we run the good games back in the day it was awful like it takes double the amount of setup as any other program you have to do it in advance you cannot do like an on the day on the moment tournament you have to wait. <laughs> How was your day, Jake? Uh, Singular yeah. day in you. Yeah, I don't want to That's what I'm asking. <laughs> well, it's actually more than that because there's one thing that we haven't, uh, you didn't mention, which I'm very disappointed in. Um, so I also played at uh, the new store today. I also played tier, but I don't have the danger package. So I was like uh, flipping and praying that I would hit good stuff off the top. Um, I did not. This um, is all because at no point in the history of the game has Jake been like, Dangers will make good fusion material. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> I've I've not had to play like even when I was playing Orcist, like yeah, that yeah. conceivably could play dangers. I was like, mm, Sky Striker. <laughs> yeah, you've never been like no. the guy who went. I want to play the the higher power version and take a bit of chance, which oh, is what no, dangers I, always. I do. live in the mid tier. Like, yeah, 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 that, yeah, that is where I am. You live mid tier consistent. Yeah, yeah. I but just I want to do a thing, and I want to do it all the time. Um, unfortunately, cool. with the tier, um, without the dangers, it's very hard to do that. Um, so, well, the I brand need is to source those. Oh, but like, that's consistent as shit. Yeah, but you and can now just play everyone's dropping Ash, everyone's dropping D Baz. So I may well just go back to branded for a little bit to make myself feel better. Um, this is what I wanted months ago. <laughs> But yeah, um, the other thing that uh, happened in our absence is uh, Ben had his charity stream, uh, which we all participated in, the Slaughter Ban list. Um, That was quite fun. Um, The first deck I played in that was um, Great Old Kaiju. 
Uh, not because I thought it would be good, but because I wanted to siphon people's funds by banning shit that I didn't care about. Someone so, yeah. did immediately pay like 40 bucks to ban all kaijus. Yes. Uh, no, ban all uh, gradles. Gradles. Yeah. I'll say, I'm happy Which with is... that investment. <laughs> because I tried to stir the pot and say, Josh got banned. And so Jake did ban something of Josh's in retaliation. <laughs> oh, I was always going to ban Josh's stuff. Like, that was never in question. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But Which, yeah, the, yeah, the idea of it was to yeah, get people's funds away from the decks I wanted to play. Um, unfortunately, the deck that I really wanted to play, Logan was also playing, so it got fucked up like as soon as I started playing. As soon as the mirror match which happened. Which is really annoying, <laughs> because I found in that particular set piece, there was a combo that was really good. Um, because Brilliant Fusion was unbanned, but Ooh, someone so <laughs> banned Seraphonite, so other people rid it off. But um, into your element, you can make it one card kick color so for Brilliant Fusion. Oh... That's fun. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. Yeah, and effectively you can recycle the material and do it again later if you uh. need to. So I was quite happy about that. But immediately after I played that deck, uh, Kit Carlos and Rhino Heart were banned. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, and I think I ended, yeah, I ended up in the finals um, playing Lachlan and it was like the most old school of old school of our matches. Him playing Yosenju, me playing Mech Knight. Um, how, does, how does Mech Knight do anything in that matchup? Um, they go away. It didn't. That's the answer. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well that's the thing. They leave. <laughs> the answer is Jake loses in fifteen minutes. Yeah. Because <laughs> they all just up and pack their shit well, and go the back thing. to their hand. Well, yeah. You're also basing that off like the original Mac Knights, where yeah. it wasn't a normal summon for the deck, which isn't the case anymore. Oh, okay. Things have changed. Did, did it change the outcome? <laughs> but if you normal well, summon, no. <laughs> <laughs> didn't change the outcome, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> now I can't remember why it didn't change. I think I just didn't hit secret that move. <laughs> yeah, like best counter trap in the yeah, game. It's fine. Like the it it yeah. did plenty yeah. against secret Josh. Has... All I did was set up the continuous thing to block trap while he was playing Paleo, and he couldn't do a fucking thing. <laughs> Dickhead playing Paleo. Can we talk about how Josh cheated yeah. in like every round of that? Yeah, Josh cheated a, a lot. He ended up getting game losses. And... For what? Just, just playing cards that were banned. banned. <laughs> played oh, Devara. Banned. Played three spot when I was at one. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's uh, fun. The whole time, uh, bloody Fallen Reese was just legal and no one played it as well. Oh, um, where was like, I? Because the thing was, like, if people didn't play, like, the busted deck, or, like, the best version of the deck, because they were like, there's so many things I haven't played with in so long that are unbanned now. Yeah, yeah. And Eldritch is banned, so why would <laughs> That's fair. Man hates Eldritch. <laughs> so, uh, Ben, your week. I had COVID, didn't get to play any Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, we move on to some Arsenal news, which we uh, alluded, alluded to before. To. Um, so, firstly, there was the Duelist Cup. It went to its second stage. Uh, there were some winners. There was uh, some controversy. There was some controversy. Um, so, not sure yeah. if all of the broadcast members are aware of this. Um, but we have... <laughs> when you look into it, it's not that much controversy. Oh, oh no, not at all. But um, people like to bitch. So, uh, yeah. we have Mr. Guerra, who I believe is German. Uh, he came first on uh, 74,000 points. Would have been so cool. uh, And the country he's cheated. playing from is uh, Xbox. Xbox. Um, with Xbox second place going to someone from China, third place Japan. Uh, China, 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 Japan. Um, so the controversy comes from the fact that people accused this person of just playing on Xbox to farm points. Um, which he did. Which, which he, he did. did which but, is perfectly legal. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually nothing wrong with that. The other thing that he that. was saying is that everybody else was doing that. They just switched back to their normal account to finish it off, so it didn't show didn't that they were on show. Xbox. But when yeah. they when they argue that he did another thing, because like he did like cross platform kit, like yeah. Off. So he turned yeah. off cross platforms. He was only yeah. playing against Xbox people. But wasn't there something else they were arguing that he did? They were also saying that he was um, wind farming with friends. So yeah. you get your friends to go on Xbox, and yeah. you effectively. Like, because the player the pool is less, less yeah. more likely to yeah. burst then. Well, so like, I watched, like, the FAFA video on it, and he was like, can you show us the replays? Like, of any of your recent games, he's like, no, can't show you the replays. They're all gone. That's not true. He, he did, did go through did he, go through yeah, he went through it all. Uh, yeah. It just so wasn't in the FAFA's video. I will say, right. though, like, I said to Jake, surely on Xbox, and in that more limited pool, it's slower, too, though. <clears throat> Surely it's just slower to play your games well, out on Xbox just from a UI standpoint, apparently right? Apparently, like, the Xbox player base is just a bunch of, like, very basic players. Yeah. But sure. the matches are not difficult, and you win very quickly. Okay. Like, people are playing, like... You'll play, come against someone who's like, I'm playing Sword Soul, but I'm only setting up Shija Baron, and I've got a magic cylinder. Yep, good. 
fantastic. Yeah, that is painfully close to my awards. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the difference? The Baron? Uh, no, no. I usually get the, the Baron. It's, it's the cylinder. <laughs> no, I was trying to say check place cylinder. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was a little bit of controversy, but again, nothing really stand out for that. Uh, but immediately following that, uh, they released a ban list. So they've obviously looked at the top tier players and they've taken a good hard look at the meta, uh, seeing what needs to be addressed. And they decided that these cards needed to be uh, banned and so on. So to Konami's credit here, I really like this ban list. Master Duel needed this ban list. Yeah. But for some fucking reason, some people are like, it didn't do enough. Oh, well, here's the good thing. I will uh, give what the Konami translation to the cards. Okay, so first off in the band, we yep. have uh, Destiny Hero Celestial. Don't play DPE. <laughs> Don't draw off DPE. Don't play it. <laughs> uh, Imperial, no. Is that what it's called? Imperial Order? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was about to call it Imperial Iron Wall. It's like um, the card that fucks Jake the most in his life. He's blocked it out from memory. Yeah, look. Well, Trauma gets in hard. In fairness, uh, it's very rare that it actually comes off on Marcel because it's a one-of and there aren't that many Tribe Gate players. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. At, at first, when I was playing Tribe Brigade on that, they just all had it. Yeah, yeah. The uh, secret skill. Uh, was the, I think the IO ban is them saying, oh, my, our bad, we already did this once, let's just do it again. Fair call. Mm. Uh, Vandy's Emptiness also bad uh, awful mm. card we shouldn't have done that in the first yeah. place we made mistakes Flunder Flunder uh, Gossip Shadow Band uh, basically no more wrongo. wrongo no, no more wrongo. wrongo you can still do it it's just, it's just very, very difficult yeah it's just not as good you yeah, literally just have to summon really four level uh, five yeah. level four. we got rid of Rongo a year and a half ago we'll do it again sorry guys a year and a half ago yeah. it's more like two and a half uh, and then Virtual early. World Dragon yeah. I'm being BFD um, also banned. Our bad. That shouldn't have been in the game in the first place. It's amazing how all these cards that were banned before they made Master Duel yeah. that came back in Master Duel. It's almost, like they, were, Master it's Duel. almost like they are unfair. Yeah, it's almost like they were using the OC before. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like they're six months behind the current thing anyway, so eventually the cards that are banned now will be banned on them. Um, True. Cards that are limited, however, a bit of a shake up. Uh, we've got uh, Fusion Destiny going to one. Seriously, don't play DP. <laughs> However, Verte still. Please! <laughs> this is actually Black Hole Gimmick. Yeah, Verte still silly. Yeah. Uh, Pot of Prosperity. Uh, also to one. We don't like affordable cards that give consistency, even in virtual card games. Affordable? That's not affordable in real life at all, like. No, no, no. It's like, it's I'm saying, like. For it's, play set. No, no. They don't like that concept, even in a fucking virtual card game. It's more affordable in the virtual. You, we're not, we aren't allowed affordable good cards, just generally, even in a fucking card game. Next thing. Uh, <laughs> next thing is uh, Cross Out Designator to one. What? <laughs> Again, uh, not, it's people. Don't are, play hand traps! That's what it is in the OCG. They're also arguing that like decks like the whole uh, Auroridon, Sword Soul, Shenanigans, um, plus more off that than the mid tier decks that like to resolve a. That whole combo is still legal. Which combo? Yeah, yeah. No part That's of the That's so stupid. What you said. I hate That's that so because it's hate true, it. and I fucking hate it. <laughs> You're I like, fucking I hate it because it's hate true. it because they're just. Just because other things are stronger, don't value other cards that let you do those things. Just don't make the- Ah! Anyway. In four men pods, Ben just becomes the parent of the group. He's like, don't do this, don't yes. do that. <laughs> don't yeah. think- Pretty problem. much. Don't put your cup here. <laughs> uh, finally in Limiteds, we have Miami. You don't put your cup on the map. One. Go away. Stop playing Which it. is fair, the ceiling of that deck was kind of stupid. Again, three. at one. Yeah. It just means they have to choose between recycling it to start their plays again next turn yeah. or keeping it in grave so that they can re get well, no, Jake. Well, you see what they did is <laughs> just literally gave us the deck how it was when it got banned. We just have adventure blankets. Yeah. Yep. Just full. Yeah. And again, power. at that time go. in the format, you had to choose between starting your combos next turn or rug getting twice. I yeah. think in the end you just started your turn next yeah. turn because you had the negate. Yeah, you had the negate from Regeki. I yeah. can't believe they fucking hit Prosperity. <clears throat> I can. Because it's here. See? <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I am I'm also not surprised. surprised that they hit it. That's like, to put it to one. I it was, was like, a super one. rare, so everyone had access to it. It gave consistency, consistency to decks that needed it. Relax. And, and decks that didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the thing, right? We're hitting cards because they make better decks better. It's like, shut the fuck up. I don't know if you've looked at a board of you that got... um, 
like a roar on shenanigans. Yeah, it's, it happens. It happened to me recently. It's and actually I was like, fucked. There's not. A I didn't. Thing I didn't open do. shifter. I didn't open a hand trap. I didn't. And I was just like, "What are you doing?" Uh, oh, it's uh, like oh, it's good. five present negates, yeah. and then those things float into more negates. It's so fucked. You got I'm, so close to the whole like massive casual player being like reinforcement of the army should be at three because I need it for my battle of boxes. I, I, I need it for battling boxes. Wait, you just searched everything in your deck? Fuck. But I hate, if they just made things a little bit more specific, we wouldn't have this problem, but generic cards, good. On the yes. point of product prosperity, Luke full comboed me today and then just at the end of the comment went, prosper three. Yes. And found floodgate, floodgate, caught by the grave. Yeah, that's... And it was like, huh. I guess I just get an extra interruption. Thank you for called by the grave against two elements. I was like, cool. Must no, be nice. literally just the reason why I play it in Splite. Yeah. You do the full combo, and, and then you, you go, boop, 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 boop. You're like, I'll take this. You, if you don't have full combo, you go, do 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 combo. You side deck, you go, do 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 Stop making that spell. fucking noise. <laughs> What? <laughs> Meanwhile, I get I get like rinsed for playing forty cards, ASMR like and the fortieth card being upstart goblin, opening my full combo and then upstarting for the trap I need, and they're like, "You're stupid." And I was like, "Trust me, it did works." It work, I it did. I search all the cards out of the deck I don't want to draw, and then I draw for the trap. Every yeah, Skystaker see... player in their heart is crying right now. They're like, "What do you mean you don't upstart first?" You don't know, upstart spell. first, bro. But how do you engage? <laughs> and then how, you, how do you and then you draw? And then guess what? I'm getting Kagari back to engage. I'm so smart. Anyway. Anyway, there are a few more cards. Little women. Discuss. Something, something. Uh, the semi limited. We have Alter Guys Multifaker. Went from one to two. Yes. Good. Uh, Salamane Gray. Gazelle. Went from good. one Same. to two. Is that good? Well, is that good? We don't want to encourage Josh to play Master. Yeah, that's fair. That's right. It's a super he can't afford it. He can play Master. Um, <laughs> uh, Tanky. Went from three to two. Good. Sad. Also good. Why sad? Yo, Senju. <laughs> if only it wasn't at one in the TCG. Do you reckon Lachlan was playing three in the twenty? Isn't it back at two now? No, it's at one. I think it's back in at the TCG. It's a two. Oh, it went back it's to two. two. You're stupid. Right. It's a two. I think it's two. That's crazy. It's two. Yo, said you, Melfi. Don't look into that. Fire <laughs> fist. That's definitely not the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Fire uh, fist. Uh, and then it finally, actually... skill drain to two. From three. From three. Wow. Almost like we should put it on three or two in TCG. Why did that card ever go to three? I don't know. Exactly. Why, did they, why is the card not this at zero? So dumb. Why well, need my Eldritch deck to have some versatility? Yeah, they banned Io to be fair. What else yeah. is it going to do? You, yeah. We take away one floodgate, we give you back one floodgate. So, two. we need to get rid of a card that stops you from playing one third of the card game. We're going to give Here's you some two. more cards <laughs> that let you stop playing one third of the card game. Yeah, look, not that ideal. Affects all, like not all those can be. Oh, skill drain. Oh, my negates on the game now. Yes. If you're all the stop starters, and like oh, I've already got a board. Ah, it's same thing. Game. Yeah, we're not going to have this floodgate justification from you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Quiet down there. Uh, moving on to some IRL. <laughs> I've clearly missed something on that side. Yeah, don't worry. Moving on. Don't worry. Um, over the weekend, we also had the uh, Europe WCQs happening. Woo. Uh, from what I can remember, it was about two, was it two thousand people. A whole it was lot of games. It was a lot. I think the top cut was one hundred and sixty four, right? One hundred twenty eight. One hundred twenty eight. One two eight. Yeah. I'm just throwing out numbers just, at this if point. You just, yeah. You're just thinking well, in Nintendo's. You need to think. In, <laughs> you need to think in lots of sixty four, which is why you need to play more Minecraft. Me thirty two. I no, refuse to do that. Cool. No, because then you go half, you can go double, you can. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, not a true crafter. Not a true crafter. <laughs> Don't have my wood blocks. <laughs> Annoyingly, I couldn't find like the top list breakdown that I wanted, but I did find the top four decks, um, all of which were different. Uh, we had uh, Splite Evil Twin, from what I can see. Uh, <laughs> but it did have frogs in it as well, which no. I found was a little weird. I'm thinking there was just. They used the Life Twins as like. The starter bit and then yep. just frog later. And just create an extra pop on the field. Uh, Danger tier element. Uh, very similar, if not exactly the same list that Logan is now playing. Different. Playing <laughs> punk. Um, we Plus. have another Mystic Mind Turbo deck in Altergeist. Oh. Good times. Literally, Wait, all, Lu all, Wait, all, Lewis was room? <laughs> all I was trying to do was set up mine and then poke for damage. And um, yeah. unfortunately, a versed what was ultimately the winner of the the match, which, uh, the thing which was Rika, which can just tribute its monsters for fun. 
and get rid of them all. Doesn't give a fuck. Do you know that Rika won the event? I have the top 16 breakdown. I don't think he knows. Oh, he has ah, top 16 breakdown. Perfect. Yeah, sorry. I did see this because, tweet, um, um, people were complaining. As per usual. As they tend to do. Yeah. The deck is kind of bonkers, though. Rika. Yes. It does a lot of stuff for free. Yes. <laughs> the field spell is actually busted. It just sets spells and traps from the deck. So I want to get that flunder Side deck anti-spell. I want to get that flunder list. Yeah. If you're on the 16, there you go. That's top 16. Alrighty. Um, Don't zoom out on it. Okay, so we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to work out the numbers. Okay. Um, So we had two Rika, uh, one, two, three tier element, uh, one Altergeist, and then from what I can read, the rest are Sprite. Mm. Yes. You can read. I can read. Although there are sub engines, there's like three different Sprite. So yeah, it is. It does highlight Evil Twin. So maybe it is more. Um, live twin stuff than toad stuff but it did have the toad engine it plays the evil twin stuff from what I saw the video of this profile and it literally just plays it because it gives you the extra pop on field and then it gives you more ability to like recycle them on your opponent's turn that's why he played it pure is better (laughs) I mean you say that but he did better than all the other sprite players sure but he's probably just a better player (laughs) nah you get us from I think I think the coolest thing about the sprite list I saw from that event was enemy controller made a resurgence. Good. I, I was hoping you were going to say Econ there. Like, you say anything else and they yell at you, say you're wrong, and then say Econ's the real one. No, reason. Econ was the coolest thing. I love enemy controller. From the old, like, original Shadol format, the enemy controller starts being extra shit. player. But, like, this playing around, like, your opponent's toad negate to take their elf to keep playing, that's great. Like, that's a sick play. <clears throat> yeah. I like, like, I like it, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> I'll do that. Are you going to play it in your list? I don't know. I've been testing it, and I'm just like, oh, uh. I'm sure at a big event, it's probably better than just, like, one-off testing. Well, I mean, well, I yeah, guess when you're playing against, like, a room full of a certain deck or whatever it is, yeah. you can kind of play into it, but... It also depends, like, if you're testing against, like, the best decks. Like, if you're having those mirror matches, for you, that's going to be the biggest thing of Oceanics, right? Yeah. Like, so enemy control becomes huge. But if you're versing, like, testing online, you're versing Dragon Mage, like, enemy control is useless. I'm yeah. not taking anything of value. Anyway. That one Scarecore match I played. But it's, it's also good against Tier Element. Yeah, I played against in rank, but I played against, against Tier Element. Yeah, and it was good against Tier Element because a lot of the boards are ending on either Elf or the Mirror or the IP. So you take one of their Link yeah. Twos or Level Twos and then you can see going to the thing. It yeah. takes out one of their interruptions. I get another card that in testing against <coughs> good decks I realized I need to put back into my deck is uh, the Dark Charmer. Mm. Yeah, Dark Charm is just so good right now. If you brick and break the board, make a Dark Charm, I take their IP, it's fucked. I had to drop it from the tier island list. It's just too tight. Yeah. The list is just so tight. I would, I recommend it. I do have to ask a qualifying question on this though. Are you playing Yazi in the extra deck? No, I'm not. Good. Yeah, I couldn't find Because if you said it was too yeah, tight and you're playing Yazi package, I would have left no, it. He's been complaining. It's just so tight. You can't he's play like, Yazi package. I need the Yazi package. You don't need it, but I, I need it. My soul. I need it's it. torn. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need it. it. I need it. I need it. to play Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even play that. He no, just wants to play Yazi right, Pop Summon Man. Man, there. Pop, make my full combo again. What's the next bit of news we have, Jake? Um, that's a good question because uh, uh, I can't see can't anything <laughs> else of interest other than our podcast questions. So uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Uh, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, <coughs> and ask us questions such as Six Scythe Six, uh, who asks, with OTS packs being limited, uh, will you be travelling to more locals just to have your chance to get those sweet, sweet ultimate rares? Like, well, yes, but in theory... No, sorry. In theory, yes. In practice, no. People aren't gonna do it. In theory, for like for us, we won't need to. We have two events. We'll have, we'll have two. Yeah, it's, it's conveniently practical once the other store gets its stuff up that we'll be able to just go to two different locals, potentially get two hits at OTS. I think if you live in Sydney, it's tr- likely. Yeah, <coughs> mm-hmm. because you have like. Well, the they're space already of going to several locals and getting several OTS. It's just the yeah. amount of OTS they can get is now. Limited. Yeah, in theory reduced and no longer like going to locals and being like four OTS here three here five there oh by the way um, just on that not to dive too into it but we were like spec. I remember I just remember we were speculating one of the main reasons we got told was yes it is because uh, local game stores were selling OTS yeah 
Yeah, um, relevant. <laughs> the the two stores that they were like the sorry the two stores the two reasons they said which is what we discussed they were the only two reasons we officially had and then yeah we got an email last week that was like due to some bad apple stores having sold the OTA I'm like, shut the fuck up like that's the point of a local game we store flesh and blood there in that uh, store flesh and blood bear list the store like the point of the stores yeah. are to make sure they don't do that yeah, like course, and if sorry. they do then they're fucking yeah. you like that's just how it is flesh and blood has that's just the way it's gonna be little darling we go right <laughs> the horses. do not yeah. do not do yeah. not uh, next <laughs> wait you sure should... we're a five minute pot again <laughs> peanut gallery the gallery rises Next question comes to us from IR Cool Guy. Um, what is your uh, what is your iconic bad old school card? Um, his is Yaro Karu. You want to say it? No, I go. No, you first. I insist. I don't know if you'll remember Yaro Karu. Oh, I yeah. don't think mine's that bad. Yeah. I was gonna say Gauze because I keep bringing up Gauze order. Today, I will go, you attack with the biggest thing first. You're an idiot. Gore's yeah. order. I will keep bringing it up. Gore's was good at one. It was good. It will never be played ever again, but I don't care. It makes a token though. You can link with it. It actually, it actually, me. <laughs> it actually made an appearance much more recently than you think. Did it? Um, do you remember Loz's uh, Grand Maju decklist from the winner card? The reason he couldn't activate Gore's is because he had dimensional fissure up. <laughs> He was just playing all the battle fade effects. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, fair. Gore's order. You, yeah. Ben? You have a card? Oh, uh, favorite old school battle. Uh, uh, There's heaps of like, what? The fusion beetle thing. Oh, Kagawa Hercules. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice card. Eh. You would have liked it more <laughs> if it didn't get a rainbow. <laughs> I, I've always been a big sucker for Ganesha Elephantus because I like seeing Ganesha Elephantus. Is that one of the ones that's like discard from hand to do things? No, it's the elephant. It's just the. Well, I picked the, up on that much. The 2400 <laughs> elephant beat stick. Is it the, oh, it's just. Is it one tribute or two? Elephant. This is a vanilla. Is it one yeah. tribute or two? Those. What's the right. Pegasus elephant in the Winter Game? Like, uh, like Happy Elephant? Something like that? It's got a longer name than that, but yeah. That's not even that old school. That only got printed yeah. in like the last two years. Um, yeah, how, how old are we defining old school as? Like old Depends. sets. But all vanillas is kind of cheating. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, Yato Butcher. Man, is oh, solid Butcher. Butcher. Man eat a bug. If it does direct damage, uh, your opponent draws a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it really big? That. That's like 1500. Wait, which one are you talking about? Bistro Butcher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about um, Chainsaw Beetle. Nah, I've got mine. It's from XC format. Yeah. Uh, interplanetary purple forty. Damn it! I was yes! gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. It did. It's so it did. I saw that. <laughs> I was so excited to say it, and you took it from me, you motherfucker. What does um, it look I, like? I personally think the best bad card ever is Sonic Chick. Yes, I agree. <gasps> yes, because it took the last spot. Yeah. And yes. The card was so. Bad that Konami gave its support, taking Halka Fibrax out of the set that it needed to be in. What, they put in this one it, card of Sonic Chick support. Interplanetary, purpley thorny dragon. What it was the... like it, it was a battle effect. It's from Order sure. of Chaos. No, it's a it's like a level six dark dragon. That some. Oh my god! Stuff. It's one word. That's so funny. Yeah. 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 Um, this is oh the if a monster yeah. controls destroyed and sends a graveyard special from hand. Yeah. So it's yeah. like a it's so like it's a, battle. A, it's a battle thing. It's not terrible. Um, Mr. Butcher is worse. It never saw plays, but it's just the worst name. There was a there was a fusion That's that weird. I always it's used to play card, like my old cool. school decks, and I would purposely play the material even though the material was shit. It was like um, flame swords. No, but in that sort of line, it was just a vanilla fusion, and it was sandwich. terrible. Except really sandwich like... was actually had good material. Yeah, sandwich. If you fuse it off a sandwich. You were getting you were some yeah. Because yeah. I'm a GX DJ, I really liked. I pulled, well, got from the tin, like the really nice light and darkness dragon. I always like that look at that card. That tin one, yeah. is very nice. The secret, yeah. Oh. Uh, except it's fucking shit. The, the card, card is oh no, whoa whoa. It was good in, in dragon ball format. Good. Oh yeah yeah yeah. 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 It had its moment. Yeah, yeah it did. <laughs> it had its and like I original chaos know. monarchs were now yeah. the thing in like. 2010 to 12 yeah but it just like, didn't do as much okay. as every other card that was summoned in the same cast it was like cool i mean yeah it, I mean, be if you BLS. resolve it you almost literally just won the game in dragon ball format that's fair i don't remember seeing it much in dragon ball 
in original like Dragon Ball vs Dragon Ball format hmm. before Spellbook Judgment. Oh god, no, I I, I don't remember pre Spellbook uh, Dragon Ball format. Uh, another. Question. I remember make big eye still big eye big eye still Dragus. <laughs> Which big time. eye? All of them. No, like the monster. That's yeah. also a kind of bad old card. Yeah, yeah the, 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 oh, the, the, the code. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a card know. called Big Eye. Oh. I once found it's like a flip card. Four or five at the top of your opponent's deck. I don't think you get to change the order either. No, no, no. It was just on the floor at YCS. Yeah. Man's playing five Rageki. Fuck. Because that's the era of which it was played. Four traders. People would play five Rageki. Um, next Portrait. question comes to us from Crobat5 hey, Crobat um, Name a few cards that have either broken the format or have changed the meta Slash the way decks are played uh, His are Super Poly, Verte and Monkey Board I would argue Monkey Board was not the problem No, it wasn't Monkey Board, it was Pencil <laughs> Thank you Logan, it thank you Logan welcome, buddy. It was Pencil <laughs> it, No, it wasn't even that, it was the wrong wording on Pencil It was the fact that there was just nothing that could compare to how good Pensalk made Pendulum. But the Once the game's caught up to Pendulum, Pensalk isn't that big of a problem. Um, what about... Spellbooker Judgment deserves a mention. Yeah. As a single card. Fuck me. Mm. Um, Double Helix. Yep. Double Helix. Fucking absolutely. Firewall. Yep. Ash Blossom. Yep. Controversial. But, no, but I, very good. It's the first time that negated an effect, especially if someone all like add a card. It had three effects on it. Yeah. Fuck me. Metamorphosis. Ooh, big. Ooh. We're going old school. Um, the old school retro podcast. Exact the hot, I don't know. The no, two no. card combo of Rangeki and Silver Fang. Yes. <laughs> Pot, <laughs> would you say um, like Pot of Desires? It separates. It separated the boys from the men. Infinite Did impermanence. We lose all three um, upstart before Desires. Yeah. Mm, yes, we did. All three what? No. Wait, no. Well, we not all three, because we had one. No, but... it was, like, around that time. When did... Because... It, no, it would have been, like, literally Strikers, the next list. Strikers never played with three. No, 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 no. So, it was... I'm fairly sure, if my time frames are correct, we get Desires, they ban Chicken Game, and limit Upstart. Oh, my God, yeah. Chicken Game. Oh, that card was... Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I wish I'd read that card better If my brain is working correctly, that's how things go down. One of the first... Whatever the first... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. What was the Three first one of like so the big long. board breaker cards? Because we've had like ever since like that first card came out, we've gotten like oh a my board god, Nibiru, cards. fucking forbidden droplets. Nibiru fundamentally Nibiru, changes the yes. way decks are played. Yeah, yeah, it changed. It changed combo players for the rest of the whole game. Can you make? A we've only just gotten into a format where Nibiru isn't as critical as the other two cards, like D Shifter and Dark Ruler no more. Uh, now the cards yeah. that are much bigger swings than Nibiru. Those sleeper cards would have this spike. It's amazing. All three of them. those cards would just. I so would. Good. I would really like to. It's such a wank idea, but um, I'll preface it's a wank idea, but I would like to sit down and like actually separate it out and be like, there has to be one we decide was the most fucked. Then there can be like five under that, and then five under that, and we just have to fucking figure it out. As in like for what for formats? Yeah, for like. What do you want to do Ben's wank idea, but for. Broken but for cards, cards that don't have boobers. Yeah, yeah. Exactly right. Um, You've already mentioned this podcast multiple times. Ah, spoilers. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Seb, Seb's <laughs> got to buy a suit first. Um, a zoot suit. No. Yes. Also, uh, there is some... Fine on Etsy. Yeah, there are some cards that they've obviously, like, very much made expensive that broke formats and that were very expensive, but I swear to God, there are some, Like, Chicken Game was a fucking common. Yeah, there used to be like those old school cards that were just like randomly low Monkey rarity. Board common. Monkey Board was a common. It's interesting like for like Max C is like a card that changed how like interaction between yeah. decks were played. But it didn't impact when it came out. I was gonna say it the weird thing about Max C is, is that it was a, a yeah. huge swing several months later. Yeah. yeah. When decks actually special summoned more than three times a turn. Yeah, yeah even then, summoned. like yeah, but decks weren't like Special summoning three, four times in a turn was could be standard, but that was it. At a, on that kind of random subject, I guess, um, the Time Wizard format for our Oceanic. WCQ Oceanics is Edison. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So you can enter um, into Time Wizard. Around? Yeah, so that is... So how does that work? Is that just a JD. side event? Or yeah, is it like, like, like a regional? It's, it's like a regional. Event, you yes. 
That was, I think, one of like the most powerful Okada effects. To have. Oh no, I take that back. But it's I take that back. Right? No, 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 no. It's not JD. It's fucking Dark Isle. It's it's uh, it's Dad. Dad did change it. It's him. Dad. Yeah. JD, I like. I said JD, and I was like, I think JD was the first. But I think JD, you couldn't count because it's part of a bigger deck that changed yeah, the format. Yeah, the deck yeah. itself. If you go JD, format, you I think can go like Blast the whole, if the whole Dad team sleeps itself in, it doesn't count. Yeah. yeah, it's one card coming. Because JD alone, I think Dad itself made everyone go. Well, we have to build decks entirely around that card like fuck every deck we're playing yeah. we have to build around that thing I would say Firewall pot, pot of greed like again Firewall was just the end product yeah. of other fucked cards <sighs> yeah. nah Firewall made those cards fucked cause like you think about Danger Dark World and SDK like those parents of the SDK aren't it was like 80% without Kind of firewall is always the card that's fucked. You can't argue that every other card was fucked. Danger firewall, FPK, Inferno no, FPK. You don't even say this. Goki. Yeah. You oh, take true. firewall away. Goki yeah. is dog shit. With yeah. Firewall. True. Goki is a tier zero deck. Um, tier zero is a bit heavy on that, but that deck is <laughs> fast. Well, uh, one point. Zero point five. It, was, go, it was a good enough deck that I could take it to any locals and be confident that I would be X one. Did we have firewall Minimal. and spiral for a bit? Yes. 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 Because yes. else. Insane then. Yes, because you can. Oh, actually, no. You just yeah, go try wizard, right? And then just yeah. do spiral. Yeah, we had like the firewall with the try with it. Like it was yeah. good. It was broken and goki, but the fact that we still had a spiral was like. Yeah. Um, it was there for that entire format. It didn't get banned for another year. I right. will literally. It, not it was not that good in, in spiral. Fucking. It was good enough. It's not that good in spiral. It's crit. Yeah, not amazing in spiral to be honest. Um, I can't believe that you could play that danger OTK FTK and. If you fucked it, or they stopped you, you would just make a cracked link board. Like, yeah, you'd right. go, oh, you know what? That's actually fine. I'm just playing Dangerous. Woo! You've been... Like, Pendulum FTK was the you, same. Yeah. You just ended on good oh, shit anyway. Oh, you negated this. Okay, yeah, set up this, set up this. Yeah, you set up okay. Fucking three negates. Gemini FTK was similar. Was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> was it? Uh, <laughs> no, they, it was not. If they stopped you, you just did 6,000 damage, and then were like... And now none of my stuff can be destroyed by card effect. I don't think you can run over this board. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Try. And then they do. Uh, no, they never did. <laughs> yeah, these were before the days of like unicorn spin. Do you think like towers was like? I like, think there has really to be a better. So I was thinking. I'm trying to think of a boss monster that like yeah. made boss monsters inherently have to be X strong because that well, was a type uh, of deck. Gumbler. Towers. Gumbler dragon. Oh yeah, Gumbler. Gumbler Rip Fall? Oh uh, no, you know what? Gumbler well, I feel wasn't like, that good. I feel like Gumbler is just oh, I guess if like you take bad it initially firewall, enters the format sense, and it's right? fit, and like straight away, yeah, probably. Like, I feel like Gumbler was just worse. The issue with Gumbler firewall. is that you as the Gumbler player had to discard your resources at random. The sure, person you were versing got to choose. Sure, yeah. but, but that was the inherently fair part care. of that. Like well, Zen Mighty probably does that until too you rip four and it didn't matter. Yeah, and then you ripped the one on the way through with the <laughs> dolphin. That uh, was when it became that inherently was fucked. How far after it came out did that f- format come into play? It was either it was six months close. or eighteen months. Right. Okay. I can't believe that dolphin just like pops back up. That was so funny to me that they could like. I remember the go. moment it showed up Shut. in the replay, and like, yeah. I don't even think he no because Neo Space. I don't know if it was even Connector. out. Yeah, Connector I'm... came out just like Dolphin became a thing, and yeah. then they just released Connector, and everyone was like, what? "Yeah." Because people playing Triple Dolphin, they're like, "Is it's a summon in yeah. Invoker like your kids one?" They announced Show me Connector, the hand. Yeah. and then immediately imported it instead of waiting for its regular set release because yeah. they were like, "Connector will be coming in January, uh, in February." By the way, the special edition for the November set has Connector in it. <laughs> That was a weird oh, thing. Right. That, that was, was super. As the yeah, that was the yeah, preview yeah, yeah. card. It had like connector plus a sold in like the same special edition, right? Oh, oh it was a sold and summon stalk in the same special edition. Yes, because summon <laughs> summon stalk would probably be. But sold right? was a reprint. Yes and no. The issue with summon stalk is that we didn't get it nearly as bad as what the OCG did. Yeah, sure. So when they, they had Hulk, Sork, and Firewall alive in one. To be fair, that's wild. Lord. Uh, at the end of the day, the card that made that bad was uh, O-Lion. True. Because they had O-Lion, and O-Lion in that combo was really fucked. It's true. Because you were like, go into your Hulk, O-Lion, go into the fucking Sork, O-Lion token summons, effect, get this out, link that off into a Link Spider, now you've got a Moral Sword Dragon, plus a bunch of other shit. 
Zen Mighty deserves a mention because yeah. it's the first time anybody's ripped five cards from their hand consistently ever in the game. That was the first time everyone went, oh, I'll just take your hand before you have a turn. Uh, and then from there, people have been trying to do that ever since. Some top Dude, better, better. It's just inherently an unfair aspect of the game. Oh, oh, people, oh always sorry. Turn and be like, I, I've said the wrong card yeah, in that deck. I mean, it was Shockmaster. Yeah, 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 Shockmaster. yeah no. Shockmaster. And Zen Mighty ripping hand, it's fine. Shockmaster literally said, <laughs> yeah. Unlock the shock. Did um, <laughs> did can we take grass? Because if we're talking about warping formats, nah, grass right. warped its format of deck it building. It did. But it the warped how deck were built. It changed for that deck building, really. but I wouldn't say it warped the meta. It did not. The meta was the still. Meta. The I did same. change deck building for the better though. It I actually feel like I feel though. like no, it didn't. You don't think so? You had decks suddenly that weren't sixty card decks playing sixty cards to avoid grass milling sixty cards. No, you're wrong. No, I don't think I saw the that. The issue is I, that most of the 60 card decks... The first decks, that came out, the, that was the initial everyone did. And most that's of the, it, it was Zoo. Is this idiot zoo. forgetting that... Yeah, Zoo came out in that set. So people were still just like, I'll just play 40 card Zoo and I'm going to beat you anyway. No, but I feel like the no, stronger version of that deck was the 60 card Zoo. The 60 card Zoo was stronger than the 40 card Zoo. I feel like there was a better list. Right. No, like 44 card Zoo was it. With like Fusion We'll come back next week. Like, if you're in the comments, you can say your team Ben or team Blake and Logan. Nobody, no, but I'm not with grass, you. Yeah, you're on my time. Grass on supported <laughs> the rogue. The rogue tier of that format was supported by Grass, and yeah, Zoo was still the best deck. I think Inferno Zoo though was really good because all the good players took it into that event though. It's true. That's what I would. I think, say. I think it was that one event. You're the really more good right. players it, did it take it, one event so it, it could have just been a bit skewed by the fact that good players were playing it. But this just randomly struck my brain. Actually, Paleo was the second best deck of that format, so you're wrong. Yeah, it was two cards. Things. Um, no, it was still Zoo. I'm still talking about Zoo. Yeah, like, no, it was a full Paleo, Zoo deck. Was 60 card Paleo deck. was the same best sure. deck. No, but I mean, yeah. like, it, they still brought in a variant of Zoo. That's what I was talking about. It's just, it was just a variant of Zoo that they brought. No, no, I'm just, just, I'm just saying that Paleo was the second best that format because okay. we could make Toads and Toads would go. Um, and then give. Gi- <laughs> yeah. Um, like, uh, imitate. Yeah. yeah. But random brain thoughtable. Anyone still remember that graph from when OCG got double Helix? And it's like ninety-seven yeah. percent spiral, three percent infernoid. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. the first one in TCG where it was like spiral, 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 invoked. The first what, did, what broke? You know, what? The first white is a spiral in TCG. That was that was the one that was like twenty-nine. Twenty-nine spiral, yeah. one invoked, and then like one other thing. And then the next event was thirty-one spiral. Yeah. Yeah, because they took the invoke dude behind like, the stadium, beat <laughs> yeah, him the out. fuck up. <laughs> then they were like, "Stay out of our tournament." Hit him with the old yellow. It's like it's been too many years. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Emergency um, ban. What? Does anybody remember? I still think double helix is the most. Open. Yeah, I, I well, <laughs> one card created T zero format. Yeah, and an right. emergency ban list. Yeah, you're right. One card. You could say the same for soul. What? Boss. Excuse me. Magician no. Mm, no. It what? did not make that deck tier zero on release, yeah. like out of nowhere. The format makes no, zero I still, I no. actually, I actually do feel like people, um, people remakes. always give that deck way too much credit. The second time round with Souls wasn't nearly as oppressive. It I just know, did it the same. I know you're complaining. You manifested. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's only because you didn't read. Was there something in like 2018 when Trick Striker became a thing? That was a pretty heavy Trick Striker format. Not really. Was it not? What I, was the other deck? I would say the release of Engage was pretty minimal. In, yeah. yeah, in met retrospect, we look back and we're like, Trick Striker format, that was busted. But like, found, um, that deck wasn't as overbearing as we thought it would be. Because no, but it, Imperial Lord was still a thing. There was so, like, when you look at the top cuts from those events, like, I'm thinking back to Nationals and Oceanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the top two that we were playing in, I was Trick Striker and there was, I think, 26 other Trick Strikers yeah. in the top two. Like, if we compare that to the, to the Spiral format, they're pretty similar numbers. So the problem with that was that was the nationals. The Oceanics was very similar as well. That year. No, I, from what I remember, a bunch of people saw that on day one and then switched to decks that hard counted it, like Metaphys. Like Metaphys. Your Mega The the <laughs> actual like worlds for that was like heavy Thunder Dragon. Yeah, Thunder I don't remember worlds. Worlds, but worlds was later down, and like Thunder Dragon wasn't out when we had Trick Strike. I thought we had Colossus. At that yeah, point. no, not no. on the release of Striker. We no. didn't get Colossus okay. till the end of the year. People switched to something because it way, was like significantly worse the next day. That's better than I thought it was. Well, it's a little atrocious, but it's better than I thought. The 
Oh, it's close. Uh, so I looked up the the Melbourne Marseillas we had with spirals being yeah. full power. Oh. It was twenty two out of fucking thirty two. Yeah, because it had hit been E band at that point. <laughs> what? Yeah, it we're had been in, We're in like one. Um, it was one oh, drones, one, drone, one, one quick fix. Quick fix. It had been E band, and we it was still twenty two out of thirty two. I was yeah. playing spiral at that point. You were. You were yeah. playing one drone, one quick fix, and you were playing three ghost reaper, and you would go set. Yeah. To you, good sir. Yeah. In games two and <laughs> three, you'd just be like, I pass, and then they'd be like, I pass. And you. Yours. No, and then you're me and you're playing against Ryan Levine who wins the fucking event and you're like I pass he's like I pass and I'm like you pass and I'm sitting here like my hand's officially busted I have discarded sufficient cards I will kill you now and he's like this is my ghost Rick Jack Frost <laughs> I have that, one <laughs> that was a huge thing I um, was like literally doesn't matter I'm gonna set up Boralode plus like game and I was like cool oh. attack with Boralode and he's like Ghost Rick Jack Cross, flip sleeper face down. I was like, fuck. I'm lost. <laughs> hey, holy that, shit. When, that, when Ryan Levine came to that event and showed up with Jack Cross, the world just blew its mind. Yeah. I was like, this is a whole different guy, whole different game plan. Reaper was on everyone's playlist. Jack Frost, when that car came down, no one saw it coming. We talked about our lists and um, like after that game, and he was like, we're playing card for card identical lists except I'm playing through Ghost Rick Jack Frost on the side deck like our main deck was identical our yeah. side decks were identical our extras were identical our sides were almost identical apart from three Ghost Rick Jack Frost what were you playing instead I what? think I was playing like some like Chalice or some shit I don't know um cause I think you're right when you talk about one card <laughs> I That's don't one think one card that took a deck from being like yeah. low tier to tier zero yeah it is, it is double helix that is the most because like if monkey board and plush fry weren't as good as they were i don't yeah. think there's an argument that it's pencil yeah. but it's because it was they received the pencil support yeah, yeah it was it was the whole thing made that deck like and they that you say they they took it out back they looked at that pendulum deck and went they went out front never <laughs> again like nobody will play pendulum until we say you're allowed yeah. to in three years time they did Fuck not off. hide their ability to go yeah. to win a shoot and it was a hand. week and a half there was no American major event yeah. between the release and it getting hit. Did they play? Yeah, because altered, what an alternative list I think it was called. Yeah, yeah. The adjusted, the adjusted, list. adjusted list was yeah, a forum. All post. YCS events on adjusted list. Your local event though, you can play, you can it play if you full want. power if you want. And everyone go there and be like, Harry's like, no. yeah, pendulum. Yeah, I think we played. I think we played a couple of adjusted list, like non-adjusted list formats for Harry, and everyone's like, we're banned. Like, oh, do, 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 do you remember? Does anybody remember the photo? Of Harry playing um, Pepe before any yeah, of that support and came Bragg out, and he's sitting like this in front of Bragg, and he's got like Nat Beast, uh, Nat Beast Negate, uh, Royal Decree, Anti Spell Fragrance, and then fucking uh, Bragg's hand. He draws Raigeki, and he has five, five other spells, and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> and he's just like looking at Harry, and Harry's like, having gone like X. Yeah, Harry went like F three. He didn't win a game. He didn't win a single. Thing. He didn't win a single he took game. Out his entire day. On yeah, drag. it was yeah. the second <laughs> year. No, no, no. Another canoe. Yeah. It was no, the no, second like, year in a row that someone had gone like X three in the Swiss portion of that play. And made top cut and made top cut based on sheerly pat ignorance of player numbers and won the event. And then, the year before yeah. or the year after um, was Chad when we had nine players, six rounds of Swiss, X O and Swiss. Chad, X4 in Swiss, gets 8, comes in, draws like a god for the whole of Top Cut. <laughs> and then just goes 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And I'm just sitting there going, so what do I get for coming in 8? And he's like, Sick. nothing. And I'm like, XO, loses one round, nothing. Nothing. X4, Sick. winning, winning oh. 6. Gotta do better, bro. Wanna shoot myself. Uh, I wanted to old yell at myself out there. I was like, that's, <laughs> yeah, when, that's, I, it. that's when it ended for me. I'm done. <laughs> um, oh, actually, what do you look yeah, 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 you yeah. can be conservative. Did um, we get any relationship advice questions? I'm going to be really true. sad. <laughs> Fuck! We Come on, lads. We offered so much from uh, different we, perspectives. We got... Fuck we had... why you're chasing that. You're in a relationship. Well, I'm saying... No, people us... are going to ask us for yeah, yeah. We said we had, like, we, the, we had <laughs> the Jew, <laughs> the Christian, the Christian bro, and the white. We man. have so much we can provide. I wonder why no one has asked us any questions. <laughs> why are you asking the Jew? The I want... I put some hard Ws here. He went for that twice. What? He's like, no one heard I me the first time because they were talking yeah. over. Yeah, 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 and he <laughs> doubled down. Here, here's the thing, Jake. I don't want just relationship. I want like 
Did you have an argument with your boss? Let us tell you what to do. Trust me. He just wants to be Nathan for you. He just wants to be Nathan for you. Yeah. Dual speed relationship advice. Did you not watch the podcast, Jake? I did, but I also didn't see where you spat a drink back up into your own face. So I missed missed a lot of my own face. I like. Took it away from my mouth and then the liquid went into the cup and then shot off the lid yeah. into my hit, face. Yeah, like, <laughs> when? Yeah, like, get your nose. Like, like, yeah, this is like quarter of the podcast. It's last week. Shit. Have you ever had that moment where you like, you take a swig of like your drink and then you like drop it down quickly and it hits like here and then it comes it back. back. No, because I'm not stupid. Yes, this is what I said. We don't drink like Cause, maniacs. Cause I don't drink like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that will conclude us for tonight's podcast. Thank you very much for listening and watching, and we will catch you all next. Week. Send us advice. What? No, ask for advice. <laughs>